Liz McKenna, you are on the global frequency. Hey, Liz, please. I know, it sounds completely and totally crazy. Look, I didn't believe it until I got pulled in. Your phone. Yeah, yeah, the phone. It's all, it's all real. It's completely real. We have 10 minutes before everybody in San Francisco dies. Please. You need it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Super strength solution in these conditions does not yield 39 dimensions. 955. Dr. Katrina Finch, you are on the global frequency. How bad is it? I'm Miranda Zero. And you are on the global frequency. The global frequency is real. We are an independent, covert intelligence group. Yet somehow, you've just picked up one of our phones. I'm Aleph, the nice one. This is the cool part. Welcome to the global frequency. It are three, three. Collins Kaskar, do wear book global frequency. I harvest a feel of Duganganam laser. Nine six eight. Audrey McGovern, you're on the global frequency. I have satellite data for you to look at. Jose Carrillo, se desaconectado la frecuencia global. Francesco Riccardi, tu se conectado en la frequencia global. Takawa Hirosan, Anatoa, Robo Frequencini, Omukahai Shimatsu. I have Nadia Kroshin from Small Links, Nadia Track Jenkins, or as we know his Russian name. Puchekin. Puchekin was Soviet Army. Nothing special until his file notes. He tested high on a graft Zimmer test. He disappeared after that. Uh, if I may. Uh, Dr. Kane, medical historian, retired. Dr. Elias Graf Zimmer was disbarred after intrusive medical experiments attempting to prove the existence of psychic phenomena among African Americans in the late 19th. Intrusive. Uh, he drilled into their heads. Who do we have on paranormal research in the Soviet Union, late 60s, early 70s? Danny Foyle, Archivist, Library of Congress. The 14 Times had copies of KTB files from that decade. No names, but Nadia sent me Jenkins, uh, Putekin's uh, serial number. Now, it matches up to something called Operation Mercury. <sighs> Operation Mercury was a major part of the Soviet Army's psychic research program. Oh, this guy's... No, it's, it's true. During the 1970s, the Soviets had as much money invested in psychic research as they did their space program. Everyone, thank you. You know how much this means. Everybody knows. The agencies that are supposed to protect us never talk to each other. So, some of the best, scariest intelligence agents solve the problem. Now they spy on the spies. They get all the pieces, they put them together, and they stop whatever's coming. Whatever the cost. But who are these people? I mean, Miranda knew with all the secret horrors out there, no one group could solve every problem. So if you are the best at what you do, no matter how strange or obscure or mundane, one day Miranda Zero appears on your door and hands you the phone. That means that what you do will save lives. You are needed. I'm needed. You never know who's on the global frequency. There's an automatic lockdown timer. Once the front door opens, all that security has to be bypassed in less than 60 seconds. Well, this should be very interesting. I can hack it. No need. I left a back door code. When I designed it. What is it? Your birthday. Oh, that's so sweet. 55 seconds. Ma'am, got to see some ID.
bailiff, there's a keyboard access to the retinal scanner. Oops. Did you just say? Use the phone, I'll decrypt. Authorized entry. Sector six, level three. Shoot the hell out of it. Yes, sir. Let's go. Move, move. 